Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and today uh, you might have seen that there was uh, yet another really interesting development on Capitol Hill, just this place with so many productive people, just doing so many wonderful things for our country and just getting so much done. Uh, Senator Chuck Gra Grassley, who uh, could really be described as the old white male Republican from Iowa, uh, got on Twitter and called the president stupid, uh, which was kind of interesting, kind of got the attention of the media. And uh, and so to kind of understand some of this and really work through and figure out what this all means, uh, I brought in my homegirl partner in crime, uh, editor at Your Black World, Yvette Carnell. How are you doing today, Yvette? Pretty good. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Now, now let me Yvette, read to you what Senator Grassley said about President Obama on Twitter, of all places. Uh, so I guess Chuck, so, so we know who's, who's getting into Twitter beach now. It's Soldier Boy and <laughs> Senator, Senator Chuck Grassley. All right. Constituents asked why I am not outraged at Prez, at Prez O. Now notice, mind you, he's misspelling words. He's typing in that little chopped up broken English that people use on Twitter. It's, it's, it looks really like a rapper could have wrote this. Constituents asked why I am not outraged at President O attack. He didn't say President O's attack. President O attack on Supreme Court independence. Because, and remember, the, the letter E is missing in the word because, because the, because I guess he's saying the American people are not stupid as this prof of constitutional law. So, so he's saying that, 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 that President Obama is stupid, that even though he, that in spite of the fact that he was a professor of constitutional law at the University of Chicago, he is, he's dumber than the American people. He's dumber than Chuck Grassley. What do you think about this event? What went through your head? Well, here's a problem. I mean, there are a number, there are a number of problems with this. The first problem is, I, is, is, is the respect that you give the office. Even if you don't necessarily like the person who's there, there's a certain respect that, that, that people normally give the President of the United States that, for whatever reason, doesn't extend to this President. It, had, it never has it. Extended to, I'm not surprised about that. But the second thing, let me just say here while we're talking about stupid, let me just say that this, the Senator Grassley was the same senator who said that there were going to be death panels in the Affordable Care Act. There were no death panels. That never happened. But this is a man that went on CNN, MSNBC, and said that there were death panels and people were going to have to go before a panel and the panel was going to decide whether it was going to live or die and it was going to be eugenics and it was Darwinism. He just said so much stupid stuff in the lead up to that. And it was, so for him to call anybody stupid you know is he really should never do that he, he really should never go there with anybody with the past that he has and that's the first thing that just kind of jumps out at me well you know i mean we, we, we all know that obama's a snob because he wants to go to college and wanted to be educated i mean that's that's the republican rhetoric now right anybody like, it, it's funny they're acting like like we make fun of of, of of our people when our people express ignorance but you listen to the Republicans now, they, they sound about as ignorant as any old ignorant rapper you might see out here on the street. You mm -hmm. know, they're, they're talking about, you know, that the, 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 the Obama, they're, they're trying to call Obama stupid, even though everything on his resume far exceeds anything that Grassley has accomplished, at least educationally. I looked up Grassley's background, and, and uh, so, so you had Obama who went to Harvard and Columbia, and Grassley graduated from the Iowa State Teachers College. And then he dropped out of his graduate program. He went to try to get a PhD and couldn't hack it, so he flunked out. Whereas President Obama not only graduated from Harvard Law School, he was the first African American uh, to be the editor of the Harvard Law Review, which is an extraordinary historical achievement. So, you know, it's it's it, it, even even if you critique Obama, which I think that, uh, there's always got to be room to critique the Obama administration. I think that Grass mm -hmm. is just out of line. I mean, just out of line. I, you know, I mean, why would he even have grounds to even say something, something this stupid? Well, I mean, he's just an old guy with a smartphone. I mean, honestly, this is just what I feel about it. Like, this is just an old guy who got an iPhone, who got an Android. He's like, well, he's just stupid. Well, no, there's a really big difference. And this is what this is where I would caution everybody. There's a really big difference between saying somebody is dead wrong and they're stupid. You know, there's a really big difference. When you get into stupid, you get into, well, he shouldn't be president because he's, he's ignorant. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I think Obama's wrong on a number of issues, but he's not stupid. And he's never done anything. 
he's never said anything that would let you know, would lead you to believe that he's expressly stupid. Now, Grassley has done several things that have led me to believe that he has two brain cells and they're fighting. They're competing at all times. And that's why he can't get out, you know, a cogent thought, you know, that really means something and why he supported death panels. And I really didn't get the feeling that he was pushing death panels because he really, that he was just pushing it because he was in the pockets of people. Yeah, I think that's part of it. But I really think he believed that. And I think he pushed that until he couldn't push it anymore. So for you to come out and be like, well, Obama's stupid. Well, you're, you're, you, you, whoever stupid, you're right there with him. You know, if you're looking for people with room temperature, you know, IQs, you're right in there. So I don't think you should, you should put yourself out there on the IQ scale because you're not, you're not in Mensa. You're not that guy. So that's the problem I have with, of course, I, I, I hear the disrespect for this president, and that bothers me. It, it, it bothered me when someone, when he, when the person, when the congressman yelled, "You lie," you know, during during the, during his speech, and all of that stuff bothers me. But when you get down to brass tacks, Obama's not a stupid guy. Yeah, so that's 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 not a criticism that you can make. But it's almost as if we're getting back to this bail curve argument. You remember the argument that that was had a while back about the guy who said that you know black people are on the low end of the totem pole in terms of intelligence. You know, and it's almost as if certain people just want to keep making that argument even though it doesn't fit. So anytime a black person does something that you don't like, whether he be the president of the United States or the guy that lives next door to you, it's because he's stupid. It's not because he believes different than you that he's pulling from a different knowledge base than you. Everything has to do with the fact that, oh, well, he's stupid. My IQ is higher than he is. That's why we disagree. And so they don't get any further than that. And that's how that's that's how prejudice just takes root. And that's the reason that people who are prejudiced never go and reassess it. Because why reassess it if the person is just stupid? If you disagree, you can have a conversation. But if you believe I'm just stupid, what's the point in talking to me? So I just think it's just, I just think there's some prejudice. I think there's some racism kind of embedded in there. And it's just a little muddled up, nasty student they're kind of tinkering with now. And it's just, it's just just no place for a real American politics, but that's what American politics has become. Well, you know, it, it is getting to a sad state of affairs, and I, I can say that just to finish this off for people, um, uh, David Axelrod, who's one of Obama, Obama's top advisors, actually tweeted back at uh, Senator Grassley, and he said, heads, heads up, Senator Grassley, I think a six-year-old hijacked your account and is sending out foolish tweets just to embarrass you. And uh, so I, I think that, 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 that he's going to feel some backlash off of this. I, I imagine even his Republican colleagues are a little embarrassed. Um, and, you know, and I, I agree with you 100 percent. I think that, uh, you know, Twitter is not the place to go and just say things that, that, that you're going to be held accountable for later. And, uh, and, and also, you know, we've got to elevate the conversation. I mean, we can't get into this racist sort of, uh, you know, dismantling Obama's credibility and all that stuff. If you're going to disagree with the man, disagree with him. Don't, you know, don't, don't say stupid things like this because I agree with you. Race certainly plays a role in, in what Grassley said. So, um, so message to everybody out here, just, Kind of stay off of Twitter. It, Twitter's gonna mess you up. Just go ask me. Go ask our, go ask our homeboy Roland Martin, who also likes to call people dumb on Twitter. Oh. Whatever, whatever, all kinds of other. You gotta crazy. be careful. I know exactly. It, it just it, Twitter. just it, it, you know Twitter. You you start beats on Twitter. It just never ends well. You know we should learn that from the rappers. So anyway, thank you very much, uh, Yvette. I really appreciate. No your problem. Time. All right. And thank you all. No for problem. Out, thank you for checking us out at yourblackworld.com and. Please keep coming back. We got good stuff for you. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.